everyone! Welcome back to Storytime with me, the Tooth Fairy. We are back here live in my castle and today we are talking about what happens when you lose a tooth. Have you ever lost a tooth? You have? How many have you lost? Two? Four? You lost count! Well that's okay. No matter how many you lose, Make sure you put them under your pillow so that I can come visit you and leave you an extra special gift. Did you know that you will lose about 20 baby teeth total? That's a lot of teeth. And that's a lot of special gifts and money that would come from me. What would you do with all of that? If it were me, I would save it. I am currently saving all my pennies for the new fairy eye wand. Have you heard of it? It has extra special magic and weightless pillow lifting capabilities. I would use it every day. It would be so perfect. What would you save for? Wow. Okay. All right. That's going to take quite a few pennies, but if you keep saving and keep those teeth nice and clean by brushing twice a day and flossing at least once a day, I can leave you the best presents. Are you ready for our story today? Me too. We are reading, What Do the Fairies Do With All Those Teeth? Let's dive in. Losing your first tooth is an important event. They say if you hide it under your pillow, a tooth fairy comes in the night and takes it. That's like me. Leaving behind a few coins or a little gift. But have you ever wondered what the fairies do do with all those teeth? Yes, what do they do? There's you sleeping. Do they collect them just for the fun of it? Hey, that fairy down there looks an awful lot like me. Do they string them into necklaces? Pearly white necklaces? I would wear that. Do they choose the sharpest teeth to make their saws? Maybe. Or the roundest ones to make maraca sounds? Ooh. Did you know us fairies love to dance? Perhaps they just make sets of false teeth. Well, that would be resourceful. You know what I always say? Be true to your teeth and they won't be false to you. Unless they choose the longest ones to make their Halloween disguises. Ooh, spooky. Or the brightest ones to grind up into stardust. That seems the most reasonable to me. Who knows? Maybe they take the most decayed and get some witch to make a magic potion. There's that potion. And by the way, do the fairies just collect children's teeth? What if they visit all the animals too? That's the end of our story today. What do you think the fairies do with all the teeth? Okay, that's a good guess. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep that secret all to myself for a little while. But I hope that I get to see you back here next week for another story that is sure to make you smile. Keep brushing and keep your smile bright. See you next time.